But if pop art is implanted in the mass audience, it happened largely through the mumbling, putty-faced figure of Andy Warhol, Knights of the Campbell's Soup Can, who has now stopped painting to make films. Warhol's studio, called The Factory, is on Union Square. We called there, no result. He was at a farewell party for Jane Fonda on the SS France. We're doing a picture together. Candy yeah, darling. Well, we're calling it blonde and a bum trip. <laughs> Jane Fonda is going to be in Warhol's next movie. At least she thought so. Warhol did not. I hope. <laughs> No. In, in, in oh, I guess so, yeah. Who is certainly going to be in it is Warhol's newly discovered star, Candy. I call myself Candy Warhol now. <laughs> Cashing in. Take my hat off. Take my hat off. No, he, Andy came into a luncheonette where I was working as a waitress. And he came over to me and said, you should be in movies. <laughs> With their minds. Yeah. The lunch there was like six in the morning and it was called Paradise Heaven or something. No, what was it called? It was oh, I know. Oh, it was uh, tw Twelfth of Always. Tenth of Always. Tenth of Always. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So tell us about the film. What's, what's the film about? Um, oh, it's called Blonde and a Bum Trip. Are there any marvels? What's it about? It's, one of it's about um, <laughs> <laughs> a naive young lady who goes to Hollywood to make it big. Candy is a man, but in Warhol's phrase, she's a real lady. I'm the new girl in town. <laughs> and I meet Rita Hayworth, Jane Fonda, Lana Turner, Kim Novak, all the glamour girls. And uh, I interview them and cut them apart. And then at the end of the film, I get m I'm murdered, I think. <laughs> we haven't figured it out. Right. Warhol presents himself to the world outside the factory as an event rather than a person. He's only ever been upstaged once when one of his actresses, named Valerie Solanus, shot him in 1968. And Sirhan Sirhan shot Bobby Kennedy the next day, thus making real the old Dada maxim that the history of art is a parody of the history of politics. <laughs> No, no, I And uh, we're going to have red velvet curtains. <laughs> this is for my marriage with Andy. But the stigmatization of St. Andy fits the myth. Here are the holy wounds. Warhol is the salvation of his superstars. He almost died so that they might almost live. He is the cool center around which rotates the freakiest collection of displaced egos in New York. Bridget Polk makes breast prints. But now doing scarves, I mean, I'm, I'm sick of the Emilio Pucci, Kenneth Lane, the jewelry man, all the, I said, now you've got to just have a nice tit coming up out of your houndstooth tweed pocket on a silk handkerchief. And the tit print on the white handkerchief, on a handkerchief or a paisley handkerchief, it looks so chic. <laughs> 